when you do not have dynamic audio ducking my background music volumes are still high but let me show you when you have dynamic audio ducking set up so when i'm starting speaking you're able to hear that my background music volume it automatically reduce at first happy new year happy 2025 we are going to discuss about dynamic audio ducking which is very very important for streamers and we'll discuss about how important it is and we'll go through how to set it up which is very simple so don't go anywhere stay tuned so basically what is dynamic audio ducking it's an amazing feature that automatically lowers your background music volume whenever you start speaking and bring it back up when you're done speaking here's why dynamic audio ducking it is important for streamers it is because your viewers able to hear you loud and clear and still able to enjoy your background music and the other best part which is you don't have to adjust your audio levels during your streams it is all automatic Automatic. So here are the examples when you do not have dynamic audio ducking And you're able to hear me but my volume my background music volumes are still high But let me show you when you have dynamic audio ducking set up So when I'm starting speaking you're able to hear that my background music volume it automatically reduce and all these can be done by just using Streamlabs. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and let's go. So at first, you'll need to open up your Streamlabs and in case you do not have Streamlabs installed on your desktop, I'll put a link in the description below so that you're able to download Streamlabs for your desktop and set it up. So once you've done, download and install Streamlabs on your desktop, you're able to set up the audio under the mixer tab. So in case if you do not know how to set it up, I'll suggest you to check out my previous video so that you know how to actually set up your audio using streamlabs for your streams so once you have done separating all the audio source and here comes the best part that is how do you actually add dynamic audio ducking into your audio and trust me it is actually very simple and it's not as hard as you think so i'll show you right away on how to actually do it all right so the first thing that is i have my background music tab settings under music you're able to see the mixer and you'll see the music just click on the background music mixer that you have done set up and just click on the settings icon so just click on it and you're able to see filters just click filters and go for edit filters so here comes the most important part that is add the filters and look for compressor mine already have added so first thing you're able to see ratio threshold attack release output gain and side chain or ducking source so first up that is you have to set the ratio so what is actually ratio mean it actually determines the degree to which the background audio is reduced when the threshold is exceeded so for example a higher ratio it actually reduces the volume even more aggressively but a lower ratio it makes the effects more subtle so for my case that is i set it to 8 but before that i can actually suggest that whatever software that you use to play your background music in your stream i suggest that you actually reduce the volume in that software then only you make the ratio settings and you're able to test it before streaming set it accordingly to your audio volume so the next Next up that is threshold so threshold is actually quite important it actually sets the audio level at which the compressor activates so for example that is for a lower threshold it makes the compressor activate on a quieter sounds and higher threshold require louder sounds to trigger the compressor so for example if the threshold is set to negative 30 db any sound above that level will cause the compressor to reduce the volume so for me in my case i'm setting to negative 35 i can suggest that you start it with negative 20 or all the way to negative 40 and always remember to test it before starting your streams so here comes the attack so basically attack it determines how quickly the compressor start to reduce the audio level after the threshold is exceeded so for example fast attack reduce the audio almost instantly that is when you starting speaking if your attack is at lower ms it actually gonna reduce your audio instantly but if you set it to the higher ms such as for example about 20 ms or 30 ms it actually 
allows a small delay before the reduction actually starts so with dynamic audio docking you're actually creating a very pro experience scenes for your viewers so do remember to comment down below how it actually transforms your streams so here comes the number four that is release it actually controls how quickly the audio returns to its original volume when you have done speaking for example if you use it 100 to 150 ms it will instantly returns to its original volume when you have done speaking but if you set even higher such as probably 100 ms or even 500 ms it takes longer time for your background music to return to its original volume so i can actually suggest you either set from 100 or to 200 ms but not too long so your viewers able to listen to your background music whenever you have done speaking so in order to make sure that your dynamic audio ducking is actually working so whenever you are speaking and your background music is playing so when you start speaking the volume bar of the music will actually reduce so when you have stopped speaking the volume bar will return back to its original volume the next up that is output gain so output gain just leave it to zero it actually adjusts the overall output volume after compressions but if you found out that your sound is too soft when you have done speaking you might able to set it your output gain but not too much just set it accordingly such as like 2 db or even 3 db set it accordingly and test it whenever before you starting streamings so here comes the most important part that is your sidechain or ducking source for this selection remember to set to your microphone or whenever other mics or your headphone mic that you use to speak during your stream it is because it allows your voice to trigger the compressor to happen so allow the background music to actually reduce whenever you start speaking so remember to set this as your speaking device such as your mic or even your headset mic so there you have it that is how you set up dynamic audio ducking using streamlabs it is actually just very very simple and there's another banger tips for you that is if you are a soft speaker you can actually reduce the threshold just a little bit or if you are a loud speaker you can increase your threshold just also by a little bit and always remember to record your voice and your music before starting streaming because why to make sure that everything is working perfectly if you found this video is helpful for you give a big thumbs up like and of course subscribe to my channel if you are new to here and always stay safe happy 2025 start your streaming career and streams like a pro when you have a good audio setup i'll see you all in the next video peace